I used to be a teacher. I really like helping people find stuff. So for me, this is perfect. We've been very fortunate that our librarian is, is thinking forward, not looking back to what's happened in the past in libraries. Um, we're wanting our librarian to uh, push the boundaries, to be curious, to be flexible, to be um, open to what students need. I find that our librarian is very friendly, very energetic, and she's always willing to help us. Ms. Nismet knows almost all of us, so like, and she knows what assignments are going around the school, so it's easy for her to know what we need and when we need it. And she's in contact with all our teachers at most of the times. So. Whenever I walk in here, I feel a friendly vibe. We all like coming in here because Ms. just likes helping us, and it's. Well, it's kind of it's like a fun atmosphere to walk in, like with the bean bags. Our librarian Rose is central to our library. Well, we couldn't exist without her, the way she operates the library. First of all, she's relationship focused. She uh, is highly responsive to a the staff's needs and b the students' needs. She um, works with staff very closely in that she attends our staff meetings, she attends our professional learning each week, she knows what we're all, we're all doing in terms of curriculum and she's always looking for new ways to access um, information for us as staff but also for students. So if students are in here she will sit alongside them, find out what they're doing, find out what they might need or find out what the library might have to offer them. I definitely do see myself as an educator. My place is in in an educational environment. I'm part of the professional development of the school. I'm part of the professional learning group. I'm not isolated, I'm part of the conversation. We've put resource into this library and to our librarian because of our philosophy of learning, which is seated in inquiry, where we're seeking to develop students who are taking responsibility for their own learning. The explosion of the internet's amazing because now, inquiry learning, the information's all there. Students can come in, take out an iPad and take it anywhere in the school. They can come and look at the um, screen in here which they can watch DVDs on. They can borrow headphones, they can borrow portable DVD players, there's all sorts of things that they can, they can borrow. They're, we're talking about what sort of apps that they might be able to put on their phones from here. Um, having accounts for, for apps that might be useful. The librarian is there to, like, to support you and not really judge you on anything. She's not really there to get us in trouble, she's there to help us. That's why we like, love, like her so much. Having a person like that is, it's, it's not as formal as a teacher, but it's more of a friend. In a way, she's our information coach. This library is the centre of everything. You could say it's a thoroughfare, it joins two of the wings of the schools. It has access points at both ends. What that does is it allows it to be um, somewhere where people are constantly flowing. So there's constant movement and what they can do is they can come in and then they flow through and then they'll talk to their friends or they'll come and look for resources or, you know, on the way they are stimulated to think what might be there. Nobody has to make a special trip anywhere because it's on the way. It's a really good place to find extra information. Um, I know that I use this space a lot um, for actually each subject. There's often in a school a perception that the library is just for history and English and, and for the arts subjects but um, I want to break that down. I want to, everybody, everybody comes in here. It's helping me overall achieving better grades and information and resources that I need that I can't get from my subject teachers. Everything's in here.